everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making lentil soup or as we call it shorba ta'adis in Arabic. It's super hearty and comforting, making it the perfect recipe to whip up in fall or winter. And the best part is it's packed with plant-based protein. Today we're going to be making the soup using my mom's recipe, which honestly is chef's kiss. It's one of my favorites, but there are so many other ways to make it and we're going to explore some of those other options in this video. So let's get right into it. We're gonna start off with our prep, which is super simple. We're gonna thinly grate some carrots, finely dice a yellow onion, and mince some garlic cloves. After prep, we're gonna take it to the stove and preheat our pot over medium heat. We're gonna start off by adding two to three tablespoons of some extra virgin olive oil. My absolute favorite extra virgin olive oil to use by Filippo Berrio. It's super rich and adds a beautiful robust flavor to this soup. Now we'll add in half a yellow onion that's been finely diced and two teaspoons of minced garlic. We'll also add some shredded carrots for a little bit of sweetness. Okay, so our garlic, onions, and carrots are softening up and I just wanted to talk about some other veggies that you can add to this. My mom keeps it really basic. She actually doesn't add carrots, but I personally like it for a little bit of sweetness to the soup. Potatoes are very common to add as a thickener, but I personally don't think it needs it since lentils already add a lot of thickness to it. You just have to monitor how much water you add to keep that nice thick texture. You can also add celery, spinach, zucchini, basically anything you love. Once the veggies have softened up, we're going to add our lentils and some chicken broth. My mom actually only uses water, but she told me I could use chicken broth as long as I monitor the salt a little more closely. So if you want to keep this recipe vegan or vegetarian, I highly recommend just using water and seasoning a little bit more on the generous side. Another option is to use vegetable broth to add a little bit more flavor. Now it's time to season and we're going to use black pepper, cumin, turmeric, and a little bit of red pepper flakes. Now of course this recipe does need salt, but since I'm using chicken broth, I like to wait to the end when I can taste the soup and add as needed. If you're using just water instead of broth, I would add one teaspoon of salt to start with and taste later and add more as needed. Once you mix that all together, allow it to come to a boil and then we're gonna reduce the heat and cover. It'll need to simmer for about 30 minutes, sometimes a little more, a little less, just until the lentils soften up. The soup has been simmering for about 35 minutes and the lentils are super soft now. My mom makes her soup to be more on the chunky rather than smooth side and I personally like that more too since it gives it some nice texture. Now that it's all blended, we're going to taste it for salt as well as our other spices and adjust anything as necessary. some red pepper flakes on top along with a squeeze of lemon juice, some fresh cilantro, and a little bit of cumin. Wow. It tastes exactly like my mom's which means it's perfect. I'm so excited for you guys to try out her recipe and if you have any questions let me know down below in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss when I upload a new recipe. On that note, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!